But for this one, it says a life insurance company invests two million in a ten-year uh, zero coupon bond and four million in thirty-year. Okay, then I know for both of these percent. Okay, so there's two million, right? And it says that the annual effective yield rate for both bonds is eight percent. So when the ten-year coupon, when the ten-year bond matures, the company reinvests the proceeds in another for ten years. Okay, so. When the 10 year bond matures, that means 10 years has passed, right? And the annual effective yield rate for both bonds is 8%. And we're talking about reinvesting. So this is a accumulation concept, right? So on top of the 2 million, we know that it's growing at an effective rate of 8% for two years, for uh, 10 years at to the 10. So we wanna see uh, how much of these proceeds that we're gonna invest after uh, 10 years has passed based upon this. So we're gonna do, 2 million times 1.08 to the 10th, and we're gonna get uh, 4317849995. So that's that. Now, they're saying that they're reinvesting these proceeds into another 10 year zero coupon bond, right? At that time, the bond yield rate is 12% annual effective. So we're going to reinvest this into this effective instead for another 10 years, right? So it's going to be grown at 12% annual effective for another 10 years. Let's multiply that by 1.12 to the 10th. And we're going to get a uh, 1, 3, 4, 1, Zero five eight six dot sixty seven. Okay, that's that for the ten year bond. After twenty years from the initial investment, the thirty year bond is sold to yield an annual effective rate of ten percent to the pi. Okay, so what does that mean? Well, we're talking about this one. So the initial investment for four million. It's saying that the annual effective yield rate initially was one point zero eight, right? Uh, since it is a 30 year zero coupon bond, we're going to first accumulate it by the length of the bond. So we're going to do 4 million times 1.08 to the 30. And we're going to get a uh, 4026. Two seven point five six, right? So now it also says that after 20 years, so 30 years haven't even passed yet, but we know how much it would accumulate to based on this rate. After 20 years from the initial investment, the 30 year bond is sold to yield an annual effective yield rate of 10% to the buyer. The maturity of the second 10 year bond and the sale of the third. Okay, so that means that. 20 years are only passed, not 30, right? So if it's being sold to yield an annual effective rate of 10% to the buyer, we're gonna have to discount this amount back 10 years by 1.10%, uh, why? Because 30 years has not passed, only 20 years has. So let's do this. So times 1.10 to the negative 10. And we're gonna get uh, one five five one eight three five nine dot dot thirty five, right? So then it says the maturity of the second ten year bond and uh, the sale of the thirty year bond result in a gain of X on the company's initial investment of. Uh, six million. Okay, so what does that mean? That means that the maturity of the second 10 year bond, right? Um, what is the maturity of the second 10 year bond? Well, we saw from the first case that zero coupon bond, right? Uh, 2 million after 10 years has passed, it has accumulated to this. Then they said that they invest, re reinvested the proceeds to another 10 year coupon bond, right? And so once I solved this, it got to this amount, right? 
So this is the first amount that they're talking about for the mature of second 10 year bond and then the sale of the 30 year bond, right? So again, we did the 4 million uh, accumulated by 30 years, but only until after 20 years, the bond is sold to yield an annual effective 10% to the buyer. That means that uh, only 20 years has passed. So we have to discount this amount by 10 years back, right? So that, so then once we did that, we got this amount, right? So the maturity of this and the sale of this. So both of these amounts are gains because they result in a gain of X on the company's initial investment of 6 million. So this is a loss because we are making investment of 6 million. So what are we gonna have to do? We're gonna have to add these and subtract six to find what the gain of X is, right? So we're gonna do 1341058.67 plus 1551835. I believe that's nine dot thirty five, right? Minus six million, and we're gonna end up getting uh twenty uh twenty two million nine twenty and nine forty six and two cents. So which would be closest to answer uh twenty three million SK.